Hello and welcome to this uh, PHP uh, tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing um, more into functions. If you've watched the first tutorial you've now got a brief idea about um, functions. So let's uh, get to it shall we. Let's uh, move over to uh, PSPAD and uh, I want to just, I've just m made something um, for the time being just to speed things up. It's basically a simple form and it's asking please fill out your name and ask him what is your first name and the input um, field here um, which is the name or the, the name of it is first name all in lowercase all one word and what is your surname as well it has an input field here and the name of that is surname all lowercase and the submit button here with the name being submit now as you can see here I've written optional arguments now this is what we're talking about optional arguments so the person fills out this and doesn't have to fill out this okay we're not going to error check but f for this basically um, it's all dependent on whether the person fills out both or just one so let's come over to PSPAD and um, as you can see I've got the the form written here we don't need to really concern ourselves about that so we come over to functions.php which is where the um, the form is going to be sent now something I haven't covered yet um, within these tutorials is include now uh, I'm not going to cover it in this either but you might understand what's going on um, okay I've written here what is your first name in question mark dot 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 input field okay this is just a comment um, this is just to show that first name this variable is equal to post first name so that's what we're collecting from um, the form and same again what is your surname input field is surname equal to post surname okay so um, basically what we're going to do is going to make a function because we're talking about functions and we're going to call this opt arg okay so for optional arguments and we're going to make our whoops our command block here now okay and with inside of this what we're going to do is basically um, we want to display a message saying hello um, David Thorne or hello David if they've basically just got um, put their first name or their surname in as well so the first argument that we're going to put in is first name and the second that we're going to put in is surname well um, if basically surname has not been filled out then this will cause an error because um, the function is going to be saying well what about surname we haven't got surname in it so what we're going to do is say surname equals false false spell it right okay straight away so this is basically switching off surname and we don't care about it now I'll get round to this uh, in a minute okay so first things first when it comes in we're going to work out whether surname is equal to false and so what we're going to do is we're going to say if not um, which basically is making sure that asking if it is if surname is not equal to false crikey false then we're going to um, echo hello first name and surname okay so that's basically saying if surname is filled out and this here actually has a value then it's going to echo hello first name surname else it's just going to echo hello first name whoops hello first name and that's it let's put a couple of dots off to the end of it just to make it look pretty okay so that's basically what's going to happen so let's just control this to save let's come over here and let's test it and then I'll, I'll, I will explain it no we want to go back to functions.html okay so let's um, fill out David first of all and we'll leave this blank submit form oh good of course we've written the function but we haven't called it basically so down here we need to say op arg okay and we put in here first name surname okay so and let's go back to functions function.html we'll refresh this 
and send and as you can see now it just says hello David okay because basically there was not, nothing um, filled out there now we put in hello now we put in surname is David Thorne submit form hello David Thorne okay so what's that what has that done well if we now leave out surname on here and just with our function we're just going to give first name that's it control is to save and fill out David in here there we go and press submit now we just get hello David and we don't get any errors right well why is that well because basically we've given this function two arguments well this one is mandatory first name it has to be filled out okay and surname is an optional arguments and we are giving it a set default value of false okay um, in in the beginning so if it's not filled out then it's basically um, going to be set to anything we want we don't have to say false we could give it um, a surname or we could give it a value we could give it anything we want but I'm just putting false just for the ease of basically checking if it's false um, now if it does get um, if it does get used with inside here basically then what that does is it overrides this so this isn't um, now uh, of any use whatever this uh, optional argument says here is now basically deleted and this will overwrite this argument so it, it basically this is saying well okay if it's not filled out then don't do anything if it is filled out then um, take the new value that someone's put in there that's what's going to happen um, that's pretty much about it so now let's talk about this include quickly shall we as we can see when we start off on this page let's go to functions function dot html okay it's exactly the same page but we're on function dot html which is which is here okay which has no PHP in it at all it's simply just uh, a page with HTML in it nothing to do with PHP whatsoever the only thing that it has got is actions telling it to go to functions.php now we come to functions.php and what we're saying is well I want the page to look exactly the same and I don't want the user to think that it's moved okay so what I'm doing is I'm including function.html okay so What's that, what that basically is doing is it's going to echo out all of that information with inside function.html. So include is like a way of saying echo, but you can use a whole file. So you can use a whole file of HTML, um, whatever you want inside of it. Um, but I'm not going to get into this too much. I've done a, a full lesson on um, dynamic web pages as well. So it's better to go and watch that and you will understand include a lot more. Um, but anyway okay and we've already been over the forms um, and how to use the, the get and post so you should understand this part already and there will be the next tutorial I'm going to do is um, another one on functions as well where we're going to talk about um, static um, variables and global variables and um, yeah let's leave that for now so there's another um, one or two um, tutorials coming as well after this one to do with functions watch the function tutorials they are very important okay if you can grasp functions you can do so much more with PHP anyway thanks for watching um, come over to my website and subscribe to me um, just here this one here and uh, fill out your email fill out your name it will send you a, a email um, with your password come it will send you back to my site fill out the password change your password um, so now you've got your own password um, everything's encrypted so I never know your um, password and from there you can send me um, messages you can look at all my tutorials especially the PHP tutorials and uh, they're all everything's there and then you can be able to comment on my um, tutorials as well simply by logging in okay and you can invite other people um, to have a look at this page there's going to be a lot more maybe a forum comes next month uh, on this website as well and a lot more well thanks very much for watching my name is David Thorne uh, I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de and uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, let's just I'll see you in the next tutorial shall I okay thanks so much goodbye